Morning guys, so had a delivery of the OSB for the outside and the inside. So today I'm going to start putting it up. We've had nice weather all week, nice and sunny. And today is horrible and rainy. Christina's got 40 blocks because she's putting a, she's bought a greenhouse solar polytunnel thing. Which is four meters by three which is going to go in the corner there this is going to be used to put a raised bed inside with all this mud so yeah today i'm going to start cracking on and see how many of these i can get up So uh, there we go, there's one side done. It does make a hell of a, a difference. It actually makes it feel like you're actually near the completion. It's uh, one outside wall. So just a load more to do. Insulation and inside board. But these beams, big ones, they're not straight, they're wonky. So you have to measure it and then trim little bits off just to get them to fit. That's why it is. So look at that. So I have been taking my angles and measure here. That's 71. I so will then measure. Hold on. Here. So I will measure 71. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. this. There. So I measure 71 on this board here, which is there. So I then take this bit of wood and I'll put it in there. So it gives me this measurement, which is 50. Point seven. So fifty point seven this way. Fifty point seven where I make that mark. And a fifty point seven up here. So 50.7 So remember there's my mark there of the oh yeah sorry I forgot one Here we do so that was 71.1 then go over to here and I do 71.1 there Sense. If anyone's got an easier way of doing it, let me know. And then, let me put this back here. I'll then do a mark. So 
Yeah, I do need to go like that. So I've got my 71.1 here. You see? That's my 71. 71. And then, again, mark across here. It's quite hard doing this one end. It doesn't have to be bang on. So then I can now see, I've drawn out a square. So now I take a line from here, this corner, to this corner, like so. Just like that. Hold on, let me draw it. Now you can see this line, this whole thing gets cut out. So let's cut that out. Make sure we're cutting the table, which one will. So, as you can see now, we have that angle, which will be that angle. Do the same on the other side, and then I'll show you me fitting it. I forgot to mention all the, the cut-offs here, they'll be used to cover the, the gaps, the triangle gaps up there. So, trying to waste as little material as possible. Oh no, I've got some dust on the bag. It's lucky that this is going to be covered. There. Now he's in. Well, it might take me a, a while to uh, get a vision of light, but once it's, it's done, it's tight. You need to put a screw up. So that's round the door completed for now. It's uh, last bit for today because it's going to get dark soon. So a little bit up there. Then obviously I've got all the little triangles I've still got to frame out. I've also got to put board up in the eaves. And also the apexes. So still quite a lot. Oh and I've got to do this. When I ordered the board, I forgot I I boarded this out because originally we weren't gonna have this boarded in. That was all gonna be open but with the wind here we decided to board it out so it's going to be more of a windbreaker so when you're sitting here having a barbecue uh, excuse the mess this is uh, all the other boards that are covered so it's looking good so i just chucked all the off cuts in here because i can't be bothered oh, i still got a bit there so that's it for today I'll come back up here next week, start with up there, and then uh, I've got the insulation stored at home, and I'll come, come up and 
insulating the board inside this area. And then when the good weather comes, we'll put the, the proper roof up there because this is just temporary. Um, I've also got to seal all of this OSB. I got it in the car, so I'll do that as well within the next week or two. I'll seal the outside so it's waterproof. Um, and then I've got to get the the cladding, which they call Lamburi here, um, and put that on. I've got to treat it and put it on. And the doors, obviously, I've got to make them and put them on. But we're getting there. So thanks for watching and. See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.